Hello everybody and good to have you back. My name is Patrick aka Battle Bear and today we're going to talk about skills and skill scrolls. So let's see if you've got the skills to follow this video. So let's talk about skills. Every hero has a unique skill. Most heroes can also make a powerful combo skill with another hero. So let's check a few skills from different heroes. Master Engineer Tusk here has a Pulse Cannon 3 that has a 100% chance to stun enemies for 2 turns and gives allies plus 2 energy. And here we have the always sweet but deadly Saria, and she has Reaper attack times 6 dark area attack with 100% chance to infect Malady for 2 turns. And let's not forget our beautiful Kraken that has the skill Lethal Move that gives you an attack boost times 4 to the hero itself for 4 turns. But while we're here, we can talk about the combo skills. See how Kraken here has the combo skill called Defender's Will? It clears stats lower in effects and raises defense times 4 for the next 5 turns. But to use it, he actually needs the Merman. As you can see from the Merman skills, he has the same combo skill called Defender's Will. Not all heroes have combo skills, but for instance Shadow Dragon Molly here has a combo skill called the Dark Transform. It changes all cards to the Dark Element but only if Mage Wilford is in the party too. But I'll show later on the video how that really works. There is one more skill in addition to the two we just mentioned, the leader skill. This is a passive skill and gives very nice boost to the heroes. Even though Dark God doesn't have an individual skill or a combo skill, there still is a leader skill called the Magic Boost 3. It increases the attack of magical heroes by 40%. The King Fire Troll has a leader skill called Controlled Rage. 21 will also give melee heroes attack plus 100% for one turn. And even the Mimic has a nice leader skill called Spirit Breaker, increases the attack of all heroes by 20%. So let's use good ol' Hendrik as an example here. So Hendrik's leader skill is the Water Boost, which gives plus 40 to attack to all the water heroes in your party. His individual skill is the Tsunami that is a water attack that gives attack times 6, and to use the combo skill he has to be combined with another hero who must also be in the party, or selected from your reinforcement list before starting a dungeon. So what I did here is I took two heroes with a combo skill, the Merman and the Kraken, but my Hendrik sadly was missing his combo partner, the Water Dragon Tulva. How could this happen? But luckily, I found Tulva from a friend in the reinforcement list before starting the dungeon. Before I show how that fight ended, let's first look into the skill scrolls. So, you got a skill scroll. How very fortunate of you. Congratulations. But, which color was it? And how rare? See, there are scrolls that can be different colors in different rarity levels. There is the basic for 3 star heroes, the royal for 4 star heroes, and finally the divine for 5 star heroes. There is also a combo scroll you can raise the combo skill level. But rarity itself won't help you if the colors don't match. Select your hero from your hero collection and tap on the skills tab. Here you can see if you have the right scroll to level up the skill. This will increase the damage caused by the skill and also reduce its cooldown period, the time it takes for the skill to recharge. One of the best ways to get these scrolls are to fight the dreadful titans. You can see here on the rewards that there are scrolls to achieve. So let's put our new skills to use and see how my fight went. And remember boys and girls, monocolor party is not good. You're going to have a bad time. But, for the sake of this test, let's see how this goes. First, I drew enough cards to get 19. Then, I used the Shadow Dragon's Ace of Dark skill that spawns an Ace card with a Dark element on it to raise it to 20. After this, I moved to the Water Dragon Tulva and used her skill, the Ace of Water, that spawns a Water Element Ace, to get a Super 21. Having more Water Element heroes in my party, I then moved to the Water Dragon's combo skill with Hendrik the Water Transform, to change all my cards to Water Element to get huge amounts of mana and dealing a devastating blow. Now, we must understand I wasn't using the best party combination here, let alone fierce melee attackers to quickly take this boss down. But this skill tactic and combo skill moves ultimately landed me the sweet victory I so desired. I even used Kraken's lethal move skills to boost my attack times 4, even though at that point it was just sheer overkill. But I got my revenge. 
There you go. Hopefully you learned some new skills from these videos. Again, these are the basics of skills and skill scrolls. There's so much more you can do and hopefully we'll tap into that a bit later. But for now, my name is Patrick aka Battlebear and I do hope to see you next time.